Welcome back to Shannon Alina. For the last three months, we have been backpacking through Southeast Asia. In the last month, we have been exploring the most untouched parts of Bali. And this week has been no different as we continue our search for the best waterfalls in Bali. Hello. Today we're heading to Munduk village. Going back there. Yeah, it's our second time. There's even more waterfalls mm. to explore. Loads and of waterfalls. These look amazing. That's the plan. Come on, girl. We just got to the waterfalls. It was 30,000 in, which is quite ba cheap. Banyuwana. Banyuwana waterfalls. Um, Amurtha, I think. It's, it's a big one. Banyuwana Amurtha. It's on screen. Apparently it was 2,000 to park the bike, but the boys said I could park for free. Yup, yup. They did have a ticket that said 2,000 for the bike, but I think they just didn't have change. <laughs> <laughs> so they were like, ah, oh, parking's free. And I was like, okay, I'll take it. Um, yeah, so we're going down a nice little path here. It's actually pretty well done. It's got like little bricks. Let's have a look. Little bricks. Looks nice. Oh, we have a big, big cow. It's probably a buffalo. Oh, we got a bike coming through. I always love the flowers here. Watch out, watch out. Hello. The flowers. The flowers oh, stop. The body have just been amazing. Wow. Did you say something? Please talk to me. Okay, so we did waterfall number one, which was pretty nice. We went, we were able to go behind it. Yeah, that was cool. But First waterfall I've ever been behind. Yeah, yeah. You know? But the big boy, we can see from a distance there. The star of the show. the most magical waterfall I've experienced in my life. The ground was a bit mushy, which oh. did not like the texture. It's probably like a foot of like mush. Yeah, yeah. But, uh, yeah. That was pretty um, sick. So there's another waterfall nearby that's kind of similar. So we're going to try and check that out. So 50k for two no, waterfalls. No. Oh, 30k. 30 30K. Yeah, there's, yeah. For like what? There's the waterfall behind it that you go behind. Oh. Um, you've got here, can I have the camera yeah. for a second? You've just got this magical canopy here of trees and bushes and, and then you have that waterfall which we've seen and it's just a really beautiful spot. I mean like you've got temples, you've got offerings. Uh, really enchanted here is, uh, is the word to use I think. I'll I'll head on to the next one. one.
You should be able to hear us now. That is a loud waterfall. Some of the best waterfalls I think we've seen in Bali Stop today. By far. And 30k for the two of them. Absolute steal. And I think there's another one we missed as well, so we're gonna go check that out. It started raining, like pouring. It's just, just a thing up in the mountains, I think. Very common. Uh, but we're gonna try weigh it out and see. <laughs> How slippy it is to get back up. we've been waiting yeah i think we've been waiting about an hour for the rain to clear so we just thought we'd do kind of a wrap up here on yeah. all the waterfalls so i thought it was fantastic if you have the time yeah. come here yeah. because it's so worth it like it's super cheap for all these waterfalls there's not as many tourists and just like the scenery and the greenery it's just magical we're gonna go get soaked <laughs> Oh, I'm not looking forward to this. Find a restaurant because we're hungry and go home. Okay, bye. Bye bye. Good morning. In today's video, oh, there's a lot of sun here. We decided to show you if the north of Bali is worth visiting. So today we're going to go down to La Mucchi waterfalls um, and we're going to have a bit of fun.
Okay, perfect. Thank you. Thanks so much. So, change of plans. We arrived at the Lumoki waterfalls. Yeah, we'll this yeah. And woman followed us down and she was like, you have to have a guide with you to go down to the waterfalls. And on Google, it basically says it's like 10K entry and you're free to explore. And she was saying it's a compulsory guide yeah. and that it was gonna cost 150,000 per person. So that means it would have went from 20,000, which would have cost us to get in, uh -huh. to 300,000. Yeah, yeah. Which is, and we didn't even bring that much money which with is like us. 15 times the price. Yeah, yeah. So we were just like this. And she wouldn't even let us da go down on the road to yeah. actually see the ticket booth and, and all. It was a tight road, which I wasn't too keen on going down. And like the fact that she was saying that, oh, I can give you a good price and all, it just felt like wasn't now they did have like proper t-shirts on and kind of yeah. looked like a proper anyone can make agency but that. so we decided to go to a different set of waterfalls yeah, i think it was like turta wasn't it yeah turta something, something. we'll put up the location I mean, honestly the drive here it was like 15 minutes from the other waterfalls and it's thirty thousand per person each and there's a place to go swimming so and you know us we love a good swim and you're in these beautiful valleys. Like, look at this. <laughs> I don't know what you want to do. Overjumped. I overjumped. Waterfall complete. Oh, that was a nice surprise. 
It was so good, wasn't it? Oh my it? god, it was literally like the clearest water I've seen in my life. Like, oh, really refreshing. Crystal crisp it was clear. cold to start with, but, yeah, but it wasn't yeah. that cold after like two yeah. seconds, really. It's like it's cool down. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you could climb up the waterfall, as you saw in our footage. Yeah, I really, highly really recommend nice. this. Oh, I told you. Alina's catchphrase is highly recommend. I'm telling her she needs to start using other words. And I said, Alina, no. we're gonna do this outro. Do not say highly recommend. Guys. I mean, we do recommend guys, it. Guys, I highly recommend it. We really love it. A North Valley gem, oh. if anyone has seen it. What was it called? Oh uh, yeah, Anwa. we'll get the location up. Because it was kind of like lastminute.com. It was very lastminute.com. Anyway, yeah. we're going to try to get out of here before the rain picks up even more. We've because got, we know last time when we went to Mundon. We got soaked. So, um, yeah. Catch us if we stop and do something. Otherwise, it was nice seeing you. We set off home for the last time from Mundug village. We allowed ourselves to just be caught up in the moment and take it all in as Bali is a truly beautiful place to stay. And with that our time in Bali slowly came to an end. We made sure to hit up Banjar Hot Springs one last time, which we absolutely loved and really recommend. I really loved our time here and it will be truly unforgettable. I look forward to coming back. And yeah, what did you think of Bali, Alina? I actually really enjoyed our time in Bali. If you watched our previous videos, you would have noticed that we didn't stay in the popular tourist areas like Kangu and Uluwatu. And honestly, I have no regrets because North Bali truly brings this type of stillness and untouched nature that we really wouldn't have found in other tourist areas. And the best part of Northern Bali was truly the people. One of the kindest giving people that you'll ever meet who will kindly invite you into their homes to have a cup of tea. And this is one of the main reasons why we wanted to travel, to connect with the locals and walk a day in someone else's shoes. Plus, the sunsets are pretty savage, so. Well guys, that concludes our last episode in our Bali vlog series. Thank you so much for watching. We really appreciate it. And uh, take it easy. Take it easy.